Hey everyone, Dave here, welcome to Such Art Overview. I feel like nowadays developing anything artistic is rather a challenge because the competition at the store is pretty solid. I think Vermilion leads the way pretty much. Although this app is playing with a much bigger perspective cause everything is paintable. <laughs> so Such Art is an artistic painting simulator game where up to your preferences you transform the world into a one big ass canvas that awaits to be expressed and admired by the public. Watching the trailer I'm kinda overwhelmed with amount of stuff being shown like we have basic palettes, spray painting, sculpture or design, spaceship art and just a lot of stuff in general that instantly begs the question if everything is polished on the same level or just thrown together like a sandbox playground and do what you want. I also see some inconsistencies in the quality. For example, some pieces have reflections and high quality textures, but then when you look at the floor or some walls, you can actually count pixels on the screen, so I'd be very curious to see inside the headset how everything looks. Technically the idea is simple because the developers are just giving you the colors and some basic tools to use, but you can actually transfer your paint everywhere you look. Maybe that's why the quality is not consistent cause the terrain or surfaces are not of the same kind. I'll try to play around, but with sandboxes I just get bored and with such chaotic trailer it might be just a whole bunch of mess. Let's unleash the artistic experience. Professional compatibility DNA. Oh, it's like a screen of some sort. Oh, well, this is very relevant. <laughs> So we have smooth loco. But some kind of smooth snap turn. Like it's still a snap, but it goes like in a slide. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't press physically, just with buttons. Okay, but how? Oh lord. The resolution is absolutely horrible. Doesn't matter if it's close distance or long, like. Atrocious. United Earth. I didn't know either. Oh. It's a request. This 
this is horrible. Like, who ported that? Because I think initially it was like a Steam pancake game. Oh. Horrendous for 60. <laughs> Crazy. I don't know if you'll see it on the footage because it naturally upgrades the quality, but. Oof, that's some of the worst stuff I've seen. Aha, uh -huh. a preview of some sort. Well, I mean, it's hot here. In space. <laughs> so I suppose this is our canvas. Then we have a smaller format. Colors to mix. Do they though? What the? Okay. What the hell is up with the controls? I mean, I see this dot, but... How you angle your controller does not resemble anything at all. <laughs> this snapter is kinda like bothering me as well because I can't control my movement consciously. <laughs> Everything's point and click. You can't even tilt it. Okay, so she wanted a unicorn. I don't know how I'll do that. Yeah, this is more simple selection. Or I mean, maybe acrylic and oil or vice versa. Those are also spray cans. Okay, let's just do something. It's too far from me. What is the struggle? Okay, I guess I have a floating palette. Oh, there's a pre-made one. <laughs> like, you can't physically grab it. Where's my paintbrush? What? The UI is just a mess, oh my god. So a unicorn with colors. That's just a horse with a horn. This is big, like... I 
At least I can adjust myself. Oh my god, the floor is a mess now. Oh, well actually... This might be a good method. Yeah, I mean, I clearly see the squares, so... It's not super detailed. I don't even know how to draw a dog, so... It's gonna be just a tall dog as a horse. But the screen is very bright. Everything is point and click. Even the painting. You don't even feel like you're in VR because you need to click and then do the movement, which is also weird because it's with a delay. So the precision is automatically gone. Like, this is not VR to me at all. It's just putting a headset and doing the same things that I would do in the pancake version. See, like, my hand is literally facing the other way, to the left, but in the game it's in the front. <sighs> of course. I don't know what you expected from me, honestly. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, this is a phallus instead of the horn, so... Can't go back. Oh, it's even worse. I would appreciate more like reds and stuff, but this ain't that bad. It's like a pride horse. We are dancing shoes, I don't know. <laughs> That's art.
So what now? I guess I'm awaiting my judgment. Like I can't open stuff here, which defeats its purpose. Nothing's here so far. What is this, a toilet? <laughs> that is very accurate. She seems passive aggressive. Wait, what's there? Are we having advertisements in space? Is the earth even correct? I guess. <laughs> So this is some sort of a art selling app, just like the pottery one was. I don't know if anyone still remembers that. Like you create something and then sell for some money to upgrade your workshop pretty much. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. New equipment. I need to remember the code. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not really keen on checking other stuff. I don't like the whole execution of it because it doesn't seem like a true VR application and the solution is absolutely horrendous, even though the environment itself isn't really that demanding. Outside world, terrible and one of the worst I've seen. The canvases, I mean, the whole point and click situation is just not suitable for this kind of experience. And quality and attention to detail really begs the question, who made this? There are definitely way better artistic stuff out there on the store. Or I mean, anything else than this would be a much pleasurable experience. <laughs> The UI is a mess, interaction is a mess. I mean, what's there else to say good about it? Nothing. 